Hello all, today we're going to look inside Warriors of Japan, A Country of Flame 1335 to 1339 from Multiman Publishing. The reason I'm going into this one, it's not really an unboxing, I, I own this game and I've played it a few times, but it uh, I just did an unboxing of Warriors of God from Multiman Publishing, which kind of deals with the Hundred Years War between uh, England and France, uh, and this, this game is based in large part, if not uh, almost identical in some respects, except for the cultural differences, to Warriors of Japan. So I thought I'd, while the memory was still fresh, I thought I'd pop into this uh, game as well. So if you're interested in the Warriors of God, you can look at my um, unboxing of that, which I just did, and then take a look at this game. So if you like this game, you're going to like Warriors of God. If you like Warriors of God, you're probably going to like this game. I keep my units bagged. I usually bag everything. These are your standard, you know, combat units that you have during the game, and these are your leaders. Uh, this is a leader-driven game. Your leaders and their capabilities of how many troops they can control or how many troops they can commit to battle is different for each leader. And so this really game comes down to, uh, you know, managing your leaders. You know, when they come on the board, when they die, when they leave, who's going to replace their command. You get some dice with the game, back to dice. You get uh, the rule book, which is 16 pages. I believe the Wars of God is 16 pages as well. This has a samurai guide. This talks a little bit about the history of some of the different leaders that you're dealing with there. So rules themselves, this is all extended play. So let's see how many pages of the real world, real rules. This is still extended play. So quite a, a looks like you have a full extended play in there. And then, uh, so it looks like about 11 pages of rules. And then there's colored examples. Here's a, is an extended example of play continued here, talking about your leaders and committing them. And I think there's a certain amount of, um, you know, there's, as I mentioned, there's some cultural differences in this game. So here's your bravery, your battle rating, your rank, your home region, your name. You know, it, 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 typical of the uh, Japan period, of this period of the samurai period in Japan, you know, there was, you know, mixed allegiances. You know, you might have someone be loyal to you one day and then turn and sometimes turn in the middle of the battle. And so there's like a betrayal rules uh, in here uh, when you lose leaders and that could be pretty damaging in the middle of a battle if you're really relying upon those troops. So here's the map. It's a map of Japan. There's your sequence of play up there and then your different uh, turns. Your victory point track up at the top here. See that? There. And your victory point awards, your samurai loss table. Okay. So that's your map. Um, and again, you're moving areas. Again, this is covering not as long a period as the Warriors of God, but you're carrying a, a, a covering, you know, a, a five or six year period here. And so you're moving from area to area. So it's an area movement type game. You know, again, it's not your hex and uh, counter type situation. And it's really about getting your leaders on the board and, and maintaining those leaders. Um, Warriors of God, you know, the leaders, it was a hundred year period. So leaders died a lot uh, during that period. And so you were always trying to manage new leaders coming in. This is a little bit different on how the leaders come in and it's you know, the areas that they come into. And it's also, um, again, that portrayal type issue of, of what their what their allegiances are come into play a little bit more in this game because it's not covering uh, the same period of time. So uh, just thought I'd pop this one open since I just did an unboxing of Warriors of God. Uh, this game has very, very similar mechanics. Uh, it has a little bit different nuances because of the culture and the period and the time period that you're dealing with here versus uh, Warriors of God, which is covering a much more uh, longer and larger swath of time. So hope this was helpful. Uh, please, if you like it, please like, uh, subscribe, give me your comments. Let me know what you think. Let me know what else you want to see. Appreciate it. Thank you.